Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. For those who are here, and we, we welcome those who are, who are watching this later. Today is our seven-minute talk on the virtue of the month, which is meekness. And we have Michelle Wong here to... Michelle, tell us a little bit about meekness. What does that mean? Is that some kind of weak virtue that... So how, how do we understand meekness? Hmm. Um, so meekness is the virtue that help us to be in possession of ourselves in adversity. And as opposed to letting adversity possess us. So in the atrium, um, we think about the virtues and the sister virtues with the kids, uh, with the older kids. And uh, we explain to them that meekness is a virtue that um, help us hold our, um, the thrust of rage in check and um, to keep us from doing something that's not right. Mm, so in adverse circumstances, keeping control of yourself, right. this is the virtue of meekness. Right. That sounds like you need to have a lot of strength, yes. virtue to yes. do that. Right. Good. Well, uh, we've already been talking about this uh, beforehand. Actually, Michelle and I recorded a 50-minute uh, podcast, which is also in the same folder as this video. I highly recommend listening to Michelle's wisdom. But one of the great kind of nuggets that came out is was a story about the spilled spaghetti. So, Michelle, would you uh, like to share that story? And then uh, I thought we could just kind of pick out some awareness, some understanding, and maybe some takeaways through that case study, so sure. to speak. case study, right. Tell her, what happened? All right, All right. so I, I have an example of non-meekness, non-meekness, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so when the boys were little, this was before Bubbles was born, so we used to go to the park a lot. So one morning we came back from the park, and everybody was hungry, and I had to make lunch. And um, so I was making spaghetti. And, and then because the boys were in the sandbox earlier, so our kitchen floor, it was just had sand all over the place. Mm. And then I, uh, by accident, I dropped the spaghetti. <laughs> and pretty soon, everybody was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Mom was screaming. Yes. The boys were screaming. Oh my gosh. Right. How, how could you flesh out that? What was the, what were you feeling? Obviously, you know, was there anger, sadness, frustration? Anger, frustration, blood pressure rising. Blood pressure, like yeah. yes. the fume was coming out right. the the ears right. and everything. Yes. Okay. And hangry. Everybody was hangry. And everyone was hangry. Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, do you remember like where you were at in the anger scale? Oh, probably nine, because we <laughs> and I, <laughs> like, what do I do now? Right, right, you didn't know what to do. You'd spend, and you'd spend all that time preparing it, and you thought you had the perfect day, <coughs> and then you come back, and, the, and it, you can't salvage it. Right, so yes. I wasn't sure if I should rinse it or just find something else. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all looking to you like, now what do we do, Mom? Yeah. And you didn't know what to do. I don't know moment. what to do. I for, maybe, maybe we just made something else. <laughs> so what happened? What happened next? The so ex explosions, spaghetti sauce everywhere. Right, right. So, um, so I think I let myself it, like just feel that emotion, and then be aware of it. Okay, I, I gotta stop, and I just uh, told my kids, "Mommy is too angry." to talk right now, too angry to do anything. So let's take a time out and, or maybe, I don't know, maybe gave them something to eat or take a time out. And then when we have calmed down, then we will talk. Wow, so in that moment you were like, okay, I'm at a nine. I, I don't, I can't say anything because I'm probably going to say something I'm going to regret. Mm -hmm. I, I need time to, what great awareness. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and honesty. With your kids, mm -hmm. you said you said mummy's angry right now. Right. Mm, that's mm -hmm. isn't that so so honest? Yeah, so real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because um, because emotion is a really real part of our lives, and it just comes with being human. 
so we can let ourselves experience it and not stuff it or condemn it and just um, try to understand afterwards why we were that way. Erin Keller, who we interviewed a couple of months ago, she said the emotions are like the children. You don't want them driving the car, <laughs> nor do you want to stuff them in the, in the trunk or in the boot, as we say in New Zealand. Yeah. And so I, that was a great example of you acknowledged, okay, the, the children are angry, I am angry. Okay, and you let your reason govern those, govern those emotions hmm. by saying, let's take a time out. Mm. Then what happened? Um, and then I think afterwards I tried to understand why. So uh, it could be that I did not have enough sleep the night before. Because you remember with little kids, you, you don't sleep very much, right? Uh, was I trying to do too much? Go into the park, do this, do this, and make a nice lunch. Or I had some other stress. Mm. Uh, so later, when you had calmed down, you're no longer at a nine, your reason was more ready mm. to prayerfully understand. Mm -hmm. What was that emotion about? Right. Mm. right. And then um, at some later point, I think what we um, try to remind the kids that uh, when you're angry, the emotion is okay. It's okay to feel that angry emotion. But what do you do with it? Um, it's a choice. It could be okay or not okay. Right. A lot of the kids in confession will, will say, I confess, Father, I got angry. And I tell them, good news. That's not a sin. <laughs> <laughs> to feel, as you say, to feel the anger is part of our human life. Mm -hmm. we, we can't control those reactions. Mm -hmm. But there's always a choice. Right. And when the choice uh, presents itself, then our will is engaged. And then, uh, then it could be sinful mm -hmm. if we give in to that anger and just start running amok and, you know, throwing more spaghetti and throwing all the plates on the floor <laughs> and smack, spanking the children. Or it could be an opportunity to, for virtue. How would you see virtue playing out in that scenario? Hmm, I think maybe um, uh, self-control. Um, actually, um, in the atrium with um, older kids, when we talk about this virtue, uh, we teach them that it's a sister virtue of temperance, which is one of the four cardinal virtues. So uh, temperance is a virtue that uh, holds us back from doing something that is not right versus the other three, uh, prudence, justice, and fortitude. They push us to do something right. Ah, so temperance and and the, uh, the the sister virtue you called of meekness right. holds us back mm -hmm. in those adverse circumstances. Right. Mm. Right. And uh, with the little kids, I think at a practical level, then um, I I tell them like you're when you're you feel anger and you want to hit somebody and. You know that your head knows it's wrong, right? And you're, you need to tell your hand to listen to your head and say, stop. Mm, can you say that again? I, I asked them to tell their hand mm. when they were up, ready to throw that truck at their brother, right? Mm. And um, say, stop. Your hand needs to listen to the head. Mm. Mm. And uh, for the older ones, the teenagers, because they're angry all the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we have these um, two color papers or cards, one red, one green, and they're in a, in a little uh, a holder in a visible place. So I ask them, when, when you're angry, go and pick up the red card, and I know I won't talk with you. And then when you're calm, then pick up the green card, and then we can talk. I think we're coming to the end of our, our seven minutes. We may have gone a little bit over. Mm. Maybe that's a good place to, to finish. Okay. So thank you, Michelle. Any final thoughts? Uh, yes, I have one final thought because um, we uh, God asked us to, as parents, to be example of meekness to our children. And we can, on this special day, the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, we can look to Mary 
uh, to ask for her help because she's a perfect example of loving and, and gentleness. And meekness, and meekness at the foot of the cross. Right. Mm, where she had to control all her motherly emotion that wanted to scream and fight back mm -hmm. and to accept as our Lord accepted his cross. She had to accept that in her heart as well. Right. Mm. Well, God bless everyone. Thank you for joining us. And again, I highly recommend listening to the podcast where you'll find a lot more uh, uh, thoughts and reflections on the importance and the gift that our emotions are for us. Mm. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.